Welcome back everybody. It is time for another Glios toy review. We just had the brand new drop from Biomaster drop number 20 darkness and flame. This drop got me stoked. There's some awesome colorways and he actually brought back a fan favorite from the Glyos community, the Uzarians. I'm a big fan of the Uzarians myself, the lime green translucent jelly like figures. They always look so cool. So there's a bunch of them in this bag and a bunch of other really cool colorways as well. You may notice some of the teaser art here in the background that he put out. So I'm very excited to actually look at the figures themselves. Let's get into it. And really quick, if you like this type of Glyos content and you want to see more toy reviews, leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me that you want to see more like this. All right, let's get the ooze going. Ooze time. Let's get into it. This is the package. There is a bunch in here. Let's rip into this thing. Hey yeah, hey yeah. Okay, there we go. Bada boom. Oh my gosh, so much green. Where to start? Where to start? We got to go ahead and start with an Uzarian, right? We've got the Uzarian mutant here. Very, very cool. We've got uh, simpler packages this time for the Uzarians. They didn't include as many things as uh, Biomaster previously does, uh, but that's okay because it lessened the price. It doesn't come with as many other accessories, but if you just want the figure, that's what you'll get, and uh, it works out pretty good, I think. As far as extras go, you do just get these replacement claw hands instead of the ones that come on the actual figure itself. But here's what you get. This figure right here, he basically split this guy, all the parts of what would normally come in like a mutant one, into two different figures. The Uzarian mutant, and then he also did the slime steed, which we'll actually look at next here. But let's just go ahead and take a gander at the mutant first. And again, I, I love it. Just simple, simple, you know, figure, lessen the cost just a hair. And, you know, if you're just a fan of just getting the figures themselves and extra parts, you can kind of, you know, pick and choose which one you want to get, what's a priority, what's not. What you're not really getting is a lot of like the robotic limbs and parts and things like that, like the extra robotic like claw hand and things like that. Those are excluded and it's mainly just for the mutant ooziness parts of this guy, which again, I, I, I dig it. I dig it. I was able to get a few of these guys over just like maybe snagging one or two of the big bundles, I guess you could say, as he normally would do. But this guy is just super cool. I mean, you can set him up however you want and, you know, add different parts to him from other things you got, but he can kind of, he can crawl around, he can ooze around, he can reach out his limbs to the sky, look all creepy and whatever. But I think he just absolutely nailed the Uzarian look of these dudes. The green looks phenomenal. I mean, come on, right? That looks great. We do got this back piece here. Gotta love that. I need to make something with this back piece teeth bit and whatever. Still have yet to do that. I need to find more time to build with some Glyos. He can stand by himself just like this, but you know, he's more or less made to be on all all fours. You can finagle him a bunch of different ways, but he is looking pretty slick and slimy, but in all the good ways. Little closer up look of the face and all the detail you'll be getting on these dudes. Really, really excellent. But now I definitely want to move on to the slime steed and kind of showcase that so we can see what these two characters are giving you. I did end up getting an extra one of the Uzarian mutant because I got extras of the others as well. And again, I'm just a fan of the ooze. So we've got the slime steed here. You can see these are like kind of the rest of your parts that you would normally get in like the full set, but now just split up into two. Slime Steed actually has uh, a few more parts in it for not too much more as far as, as far as cost goes for the figure. So it comes with these little claw hands, actually two sets of them. Lots of connectors actually, that's fantastic. Also comes with the little drill bit and also this little kind of backpacky shield thing. And then it comes with two extra heads. We've got the little leech dude mutant, and then we got the classic like pirate captain one that we're used to seeing absolutely love this guy he's so cool and the yellow little tongue in there like dang he did a great job with this dude looks phenomenal but now the slime steed itself it's like a little dragon oozy horse dude let me get him sorted out here his legs are all wild right now okay there he is this is the slime steed as you can see it's just like a kind of goofy little horse thing horse creature i don't even know it's so funny i'm not the biggest fan of this build but i'll take it because this guy <laughs> it's so funny looking. You can actually have like your dudes ride him, I guess. So you can go on top and actually ride this dude, which I'd say looks pretty 
pretty funny and pretty awesome, actually. Probably not with another ooze guy. I think he'd look better with one of the other figures we got in this thing. But here you go. Here's the whole thing. You can see the body part in between here, the little connector points, the little legs and all the extra little bits. So again, sticking mainly with like the mutant look of it. There's not any of like the robotic pieces or anything. The, the most robotic thing you get is like this drill bit or this little backpack thing, I would say. And then we got the little dragon head here, which, oh man, so funny. I think I'd like it better with the leech head on this guy honestly <laughs> there you go now we've got the leech head on now he just looks like some crazy worm thing it's hilarious but i love it it's so derpy but excellent we got to find a way to get like a tail on him or something that would that would really complete the look i think but as far as slime steeds go he definitely fits the bill and he is uh he is a funny one man i'm i'm just I, every time i see a picture of him i crack up i'm like it's so awkwardly goofy <laughs> but hey I'm, I'm not complaining this thing was still uh an excellent little figure and i again i like the way that they he kind of split up the two figures in this one now initially i only got one of the slime steeds on my first order and then i got one of the blanks so we actually do have blanks of the slime steeds which is excellent because i really want to use these extra parts for all sorts of builds so just getting some of the extra base ones was perfect man absolutely great just to mix and match with other things i think it's going to look really fun what else we got over here all right we also had two of the base unpainted versions of the little oozarian mutant as well i got a couple of these for again the same reasons i'll take out one of these guys so just for the blank version of the ooze monster mutant it's pretty pretty great you're not losing much as far as the painting because obviously there's not a ton going on with the painting on the regular version you can see there's the yellow and stuff just in a few parts so Really, that's all you're kind of missing from the blanks. So in my opinion, this was just a fantastic buy just to get extra pieces. And I know these guys sold out pretty dang quick for all these blanks. It was an excellent little piece of ooze to add to the Glios world. In fact, I'm going to pop off this guy's head and I'm going to throw on this one. Let's just check. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him without a neck. I've never just put this head on without a neck before, but it looks awesome oh man i'm gonna have to try this on some of my other extra parts get some of uh, a different a different color in here maybe white white with the green would look pretty sick from the last drop let's go into another colorway we've got here the little mutant andraxian is the name and flavor of this guy some awesome blues and purples mixed with some black contrast let's pull this guy out so many extra parts, so many extra little just connecting bits. Awesome. Again, we got our head pieces as our extra. So we have the little other mutant and our little dragonoid dude. Bunch of extra spare little kind of robotic -y parts. Claws and other random bits. Very nice. And then here is the Andraxian himself looking sharp as hell. I mean, come on. That guy just looks amazing. Really smooth looking. I love the little pinks on the eyes. The blue just pops so nicely. Let's just get a nice rotation here around this guy and just check out all the nice little details. You got your other head leech dude on the back as his tail. We've got the teeth actually looking. Let me pop this part off. There we go. Check that out. We've got the pink brain and the white teeth. Looks great. Super, super nice though. I mean, come on, look at that claw. The claw looks fantastic as well. Overall, just a solid, solid figure. I mean, he crushes it with these guys. And you can see what I mean about all the extra parts you get in just kind of his main figure like this. You get all those things in just one, uh, comparatively to the how he did the ooze this time, where he kind of split it in half between two. Man, oh man. This guy is a sick colorway. The Indraxian, very nice. And it's the only one in this this drop from this colorway. I was surprised we didn't get maybe this colorway for a bio monster or something like that, but no bio monsters in this go around for this drop in wave 20, but maybe next time. Let's get a little closer look at that nice looking face. Very sharp. I mean, phew so clean on these these molds so fantastic the claw really fantastic job though i'm digging this guy a lot here i'll tell you what let's throw him on the slime steed and you can kind of get a the vibe for how he would look on one of these dudes there you go 
just kind of sitting up there riding the thing. It's hilarious, but you can make any type of combo. You can beef out this slime steed with like other robotic parts, I think would look sweet. Get him armored up, a little armored slime steed. It's going to be fun to do some interesting photos with this guy, which I'll be dropping on my Instagram. So go follow me there at Lockdown51. I take Lyle's pictures all the time as a secondary hobby or third hobby. So if you like toy photography, make sure to go follow me on the Instagram. Also, I did get a blank version of the Indraxian. So just, uh, uh, none of the little highlights of pink or blue. We just have the purple and the black base to go off of. But again, the extra parts included in this thing are just fantastic. You can see the head there with the... Uh, no paint on the eye or anything like that. Worth it. Definitely worth it. All right, we got one more figure to look at. We've got the Fireworm. Well, let's pull this guy out. We've got a nice red, gray, and black design looking extra cool. I mean, come on, look at that. Ooh, we've even got little, little, little dashes on the eyes for this guy. That's fantastic. We got the little Dragonoid head looking fresh. Spare bits again, kind of robotic ones. And then we also get the kind of extra cowl base chest piece. There's kind of how it would look in this colorway with more yellowish teeth and uh, the dark bloody brain bit. So here we go. Here is the fireworm. He actually uses the leech head and the robotic body. A bunch of different extra little bits and pieces here. He's got an extra crazy mutant arm going on here but he's just a funny looking lanky looking dude it's hilarious but <laughs> look at this guy man he's so goofy this leech head man it works well with this fireworm aspect it looks pretty funny and pretty awesome at the same time let's just take a little bit of a closer look at the head and the freshness of that paint job the teeth i mean he just crushes it with these things he's got uh, like a, a hand sticking out of his back but obviously it's uh representing some kind of weird oozing fire back thing coming out of them. Got those nice robotic legs with the half mutant foot down here. Oh man, I might be able to make some kind of crazy like Hellboy arm thing with all this. I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas. This is the right color for like a nice Hellboy figure. Ooh, I'm gonna have to Oh, I'm going to have to look into that real good. I might have to make something up for that guy. One of the best parts about Biomasters is uh, he definitely gets the, the brain juices flowing, the creativity going, uh, just with the uniqueness of all the parts and everything. And the characterization of these guys is just so fun. You can make them do a little like one standing leg jig here, and that is phenomenal. <laughs> I get amused by the little things, but come on, that's pretty nice. Not all Glyos figures can rock out a stance like that straight out of the bag. It's pretty impressive, gotta say. And that is all the figures. I actually did get another package. I ended up doing a second order after everything was said and done. I ended up getting more of the slime steeds, just the normal painted version, because it was like the only thing he had left with their slime steeds. And I definitely feel like I'm going to be using these ooze parts like crazy. So I'm going to need all these extra parts I can get. Ah, I was, I was so happy to see that it actually came with this head as well. So I had to grab a couple more of those. Here's a drop one more time. Drop 20, darkness and flame. Super cool drop. Great job. And I'm so glad we got some Oozerian mutants in here. They look phenomenal. Make sure to go support Biomaster. Go over to the store link in the description as well if there is anything left he might have a slime steed or maybe even some older bio monsters from the past drop go see what's available and make sure you keep a lookout for the next one he'll have coming up i can't wait for more from biomaster you know me mangalores and biomasters are just popping off right now and uh they, i just can't wait to see what he does next with these guys they look super super cool these uzarians are a new favorite of mine for sure now we just need a mangalore and an uzarian flavor that would be incredible that's going to do it for this video once again go check out biomaster's website link in the description he definitely deserves it i'm not sure what's left in the store he sells out pretty quickly but you're going to want to follow him on his socials too on instagram so you can be updated for when the next drop is going live and trust me he's been putting out some bangers just like this one so you're not going to want to miss the new stuff he's going to be coming out with that's all i got to say on this drop but i do want to hear from you guys in the community leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite part of this one was what your favorite colorway was for this and tell me the other things you could be looking forward to with future drops from Biomaster. Guys, have a great rest of your week. Stay tuned for more. We just had a spaced out design drop as well, so we're going to have some banger new Geodraxis figures to look over in just a couple weeks here, so stay tuned, and we will catch you guys in the next video.